Hello everybody. Today I'm going to give you a brief introduction to NCache. NCache is an open source distributed in-memory data store, also called a distributed cache in the .NET space, and an in-memory data grid in the Java space. NCache is extremely fast and scalable. It is fast because it's totally in-memory, and it's scalable because it is distributed. NCache is the only 100% native .NET solution in the market. Other solutions are C++ and Linux based. NCache fits in very nicely to your application's .NET stack. That is why it is the favorite in .NET developer community and a .NET market leader for the last 13 years. If you have a high transaction ASP.NET or ASP.NET Core web application, a .NET Web Services application, a .NET Microservices application, or any other .NET server application, then you'll most likely benefit by using NCache. So why do you need to use NCache? The reason is because your application needs to process extreme amounts of transactions during peak times. You could be a business doing most of your transactions mainly through your customer-facing website. For example, you could be a retail business with an online store or a purely e-commerce business selling your products online. You could also be a leading airline selling tickets and reservations from your website. Or you may be an online gaming or betting website in Europe where your customers log in during major sporting events to place bets in real time. Or perhaps you're a business that needs to process a lot of transactions in the background. You could be a bank processing customer wires or a credit card company monitoring your customer transactions to do fraud detection. You could also be a logistics business monitoring a lot of vehicles in real time or a utility company monitoring a lot of devices in real time and analyzing their behavior. And if you're one of these businesses or a host of other similar businesses, then you cannot afford to have your application slow down during peak times because the cost to your business is very high. But unfortunately, many applications do slow down because data storage and the database cannot cope with such high transaction loads and becomes a bottleneck. The reason is because unlike the application tier, where you can add more servers as your transaction load grows, you cannot add more servers to your database tier, so it becomes a bottleneck. The solution to this problem is, of course, to use NCache to cache application data and to also store all transient or temporary data in it. Unlike your database, NCache is distributed and allows you to build a caching tier of two or more servers and pools the memory and CPU of all the cache servers into one logical capacity. NCache then lets you add more servers to this caching tier as your transaction load grows. As a result, NCache, never, uh, NCache can scale linearly and never becomes a performance bottleneck. On top of this, since NCache is totally in memory, it is super fast. You can use NCache in three different ways. First, you can cache application data in NCache to reduce your database trips by 80 to 90 percent and make sure your database is no longer a performance bottleneck. Second, you can store your ASP.NET or ASP.NET Core sessions in NCache because it is extremely fast and scalable and also because it replicates sessions across multiple servers for high availability. Third, you can use NCache as a simple yet powerful PubSub messaging and events platform and coordinate work among multiple server applications seamlessly. Now let's take a quick look at some of NCache's features. NCache has a number of ways to help you keep your cache data as fresh as possible without your application having to keep track of all this. You can use absolute and sliding expirations to automatically remove data from the cache. You can also have NCache automatically sync itself with a SQL database if data is changed in the database by other applications. 
You can also specify one-to-many and one-to-one -one relationships of data in the cache so data integrity is not violated when the cache is updated. If you're putting a lot of data in the cache, then NCache lets you search for it based on object attributes, groups, tags, and name tags. This makes it really easy to find your data. You can use SQL or link queries for searching the cache. And NCache also creates indices to speed up your searches. NCache is the only solution in the .NET space to give you server-side code capability. You can implement read-through to let your cache fetch the data from your database. And when you combine this, auto, this with auto-load feature, NCache automatically reloads data upon expirations or upon database synchronization. You can also implement write-through to let the cache update your database for you. And write-behind updates the database asynchronously, so your application doesn't have to wait for it. And finally, a cache loader automatically preloads the cache when you start the cache. And cache is the only solution in .NET to provide a client cache feature, also called a near cache. Client cache gives you an in-proc performance as if the cache data is kept within your application process. Client cache is a local cache to your application, but stays synchronized with the caching tier for all updates by other applications or other users. Client cache gives your application a significant performance boost. If your application is deployed to multiple data centers or multiple Azure regions or multiple AWS availability zones, then NCache lets you replicate the cache across the WAN without slowing down your application in each location, in either location. You can deploy NCache in an active passive or an active active data center configuration. As you already know, NCache is 100% native .NET solution. Let's see what kind of .NET support does it have. And let's also see different ways you can deploy NCache. NCache provides a cache client with full support for both .NET and .NET Core with things like Entity Framework, nHibernate, EF Core, ASP.NET, ASP.NET Core, and Signal R. Just like the cache client, NCache server is also 100% native .NET. No other solution has this, as others are C++ on Linux. NCache server supports both .NET and .NET Core, and through the .NET Core edition, you can deploy NCache servers not only to Windows Server, but also to Nano Server and Linux. NCache gives you a lot of deployment options. You can download and install it on-premises on Windows, on Windows and Linux. You can choose to use it as a VM in Azure and AWS Cloud through their marketplaces. You can also choose to use it as a managed cache service in Azure and AWS through NCache's own cloud portal. And finally, you can download a Docker image of NCache from Docker Hub or create your own customer Docker image of NCache through Docker files. So go ahead and download NCache open source and use it totally free, but without any support. No registration is required for this download. Or you may want to check out NCache Enterprise that has some very important features for mission critical applications. Read the addition comparison of NCache to see the differences. Contact our tech support for any technical questions or our sales team for any other questions. Thank you.